and happy flashcard time. We've had a long weekend, so our flashcards have really been missing you. So let's make sure we cheer them up by saying all our phonics friends nice and loud. And today, I'm gonna try and go a little faster so we can practice reading them with automaticity. Are you ready? Here we go. Three sounds. Y, E, I. One more time. Y, E, I. E. I love doing them a little bit faster, so now we're super, super ready for reading. Happy Tuesday, Super Scholars, and welcome back to another awesome week. I am super excited you are here and ready to grow that brain. So today, of course, we are starting with our fabulous reading, and we have to warm up our reading brains after this long weekend with some speed decoding. So these five words have all of our tricky little patterns we've been learning the past couple of weeks. So I want you to make sure you look really, really close at what pattern you can find as a decoding detective, and then of course, decode the word. So let's start off. First up, we have this word. What do you see here? We have our N-G-N-D, and the vowel is an O. So let's think back, what did O-N-G say? O-N-G together? Ong. Ong. So this word is? Song. Song. Okay, next one. This word, I remember, gave a lot of people some trouble because, what do you see here? It's a vowel team. I noticed that a lot of people didn't find the vowel team in this word. So E-A says what sound? E, and at the ending we have L-E. So can everybody decode the word? Beagle, beagle. A beagle is a breed of dog. And what about this word? Ooh, what do you see? We have our digraph, and we have a Y at the end. What sound is Y going to make? Y, E, or I? It's gonna make the I sound because it's at the end, and it's all alone. So, let's read the word. Sh, I, shy, shy. Okay, up next, da -da -da. What do you see at the end? We see I-N-G. 
G make when we read it? Ing, ing. So let's read the word. Sting, sting. Like if something comes and stings you. And last but not least, ooh, what do you see in this word? There are two Y's. There's a Y at the beginning and a Y at the end. Guess what? These Y's are going to say different sounds. So what sound will this Y make? Y, yeah, because it's right at the beginning. But what about this Y? What sound will this Y make? It's going to make the E sound because it's at the end, but it has another vowel friend. So can let's all try and decode the word. Yummy, yummy. We have the Y and the E sound at the end to read this word as yummy. Okay, there we go. We are done with speed decoding. Awesome job. And let's check out, of course now, our Tuesday learning target. It says, I can divide, divide is to break apart. I can divide a word into syllables and blend them together. So today we are talking about, again, syllables. We were talking about syllables when we first were looking at our ending L-E. But today and tomorrow, we're going to take an even closer look at syllables and how knowing what syllables are in a word can help us decode a word. So we are focusing on syllables and the power they give us as decoded detectives. So again, what exactly are syllables? What do they have to do with the word? So syllables, can you all say this with me? Syllables, look there's even an L-E. Here we go, syllables. Syllables are parts of a word with a vowel. So in our learning target we talked about dividing. So that means there's different parts. We're breaking apart a word into a certain parts that have a vowel. We mentioned a couple weeks ago that in our English language, every single syllable in a word has to have a vowel. So when we talk about breaking apart a word into syllables, we're breaking that word into its certain parts where every single part has a vowel. So that's what we're going to be doing to make sure we can decode the vowel sound correctly by breaking a word apart into its correct syllables. So today we are going to be looking at syllables that have closed in vowels. We are going to be looking at words that when we break it apart into syllables, all the vowels are closed in. Remember, that's when the door is shut and the vowel can't get out, so it's closed in. Let's remind ourselves, what does a closed in vowel mean? When a vowel is closed in. It says it's short sound. Those are the short sounds like a, e, i, a, and u. Uh. All are short vowel sounds. So every syllable in the words that we're looking at today, we're going to find that the vowel is closed in. So we will know to say the short sound when we see the vowel. So Let's remind ourselves of this all-important closed-in vowel by doing our mirror words together. Are you ready? Everybody with me? Mirror words! When a vowel is closed in, it says it's short sound. When a vowel is closed in, it says it's short sound. When a vowel is closed in, it says it's short sound. 
Smear down. Good job. So this knowledge of close and vowels is going to help us when we are decoding by breaking a word into syllables. So let's take a look at an example. Da -da -da. Here is our first word. We are going to learn a clue that we can use to break apart this word into syllables. So if you take a look at this word, there are two consonants right next to each other. Remember, a consonant is any letter that's not a vowel. So do you see two consonants right next to each other in this word? What are the two consonants that are side by side? I see B and L. B and L are next to each other and they are both consonants. So one clue we can use as decoding detectives to break a word into syllables is if we see two consonants side by side, we can divide the word right in between those consonants. So I'm going to put a big line down the middle right between B and F. That means this word has two syllables. One, two. And as you can see, there's a vowel, A and E, in both syllables. So this word is correct in our English language. And we knew how to divide this word into syllables by dividing it right in between where we saw two consonants. So now that we divided this word into syllables, we can decode them on their own and then blend them together. So remember, look at these vowels. They are both closed in. The door is shut. They're nice and cozy. So they have to say their short sound. So can we decode this first part? T ab, tab, and then let, let. All together, tab, let. Tablet, a tablet, which I'm sure a lot of you are watching this video on right now. So in the word tablet, there are two syllables that are divided right in between the two consonants. And then, using our knowledge of closed in vowels, we can slowly decode this word and build up to reading it fluently as one word. I want us to move our bodies, so let's stand up for our first this or that for Tuesday. So can we all stand up, up? So my question for you is kind of a silly one. If when you talked, words no longer came out, and instead there would be a cow sound or a dog bark. What would you rather replace your voice? If all of a sudden you lost your voice and every time you tried to talk a different sound came out, would you prefer that to be a cow mooing sound or a dog barking sound? What would you rather replace your voice? Take your pick. Cow, you're going to run in place. A dog bark, you're going to swim in place. What would you rather pick for this silly one? I'm going to go with a cow moo, so I'm going to run in place for five seconds. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. That is it. Our five little breaks. So come on, sit right back down as we get out our Super Kids workbook, and we are opening to page 35. Looks like this, page 35. This is the page we'll be using today. So everyone is opening to page 35 as they're sitting right back down in their seats. So on this page, we have a lot of words that we are gonna practice decoding by breaking them into syllables and then blending together. So, let's take a first look at this word up here. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, how can we break this word into syllables? We have a clue that if we see two consonants next to each other, the syllables will be divided in between those consonants. So, in this first word, where are two consonants next together? What do you see? There's an A 
N and a D. Those are two consonants. So I want everybody to draw a line right in between them to show that we know the two different syllables of this word. And as you see, there's an I in the first syllable, and this O-W is the vowel of the second syllable. So I want you to also, can you underline the vowels of these two syllables? So now, let's practice decoding the word. Here we go. First up, in, win. And then look, O-W is just going to say O. This whole O-W will say O. Here we go. D O do. So the whole word? Window. Window. Which is what this picture is of. But remember, when we're trying to decode, we don't want to look at the picture to make sure we're really practicing our reading skills. Okay, we broke this word into syllables and decoded it that way. So let's try it again on this second word. Da -da -da. Okay, where are we gonna divide this word into syllables? What's our clue? Between, between two consonant letters. So where do you see two consonant letters side by side? There's an S and an S right here. Those are two consonants right next to each other. Also, B and an L are next to each other, but if we divided the syllable here, B on its own can't be a syllable because there's no vowel. So we know it's in a different place, and that's between our two S's. So I need everybody go ahead, chop the word in two, and divide it into its syllables. Can you underline the vowel in each syllable? Or do you see the vowel in each syllable? There's an O in each syllable. Therefore, it's a correct word in our English language. So, in order to decode the word, we're going to sound out each syllable and then blend them together. Okay, here we go. First syllable. Bloss. Bloss. Remember, the O is saying it's short sound. Ah. So, this O in the second syllable says more of an uh, uh sound which we'll learn about later, how sometimes vowels can say an uh sound. But this O is going to say uh. So, so can you sound it out with me? S um, some. So now let's practice decoding the whole word. Can you blend it all together? Blossom. 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 Blossom like a beautiful flower. Good, good job, super scholars. Okay, last one all together. Last one. In this word, hmm, how do we know how to divide this word into syllables? What are we going to look for? Hmm, what's our clue? Between two consonants. So, where are two consonants next to each other? where we could divide this into two parts with a vowel. Between the two P's, there's two P's next to each other. Those are consonants. So everybody divide the word right in between the two P's. At the end, there's an R and an S together. But remember, if we divided it here, S couldn't be a syllable because there'd be no vowel. Okay, superstars, can you underline the vowel in each syllable? I've got an I, and then guess what? ER together is a vowel. We're going to learn about these in a bit, but ER, that's a vowel together. So can we try and decode this word with the two syllables? Okay, first part, here we go. Zip, zip, and then second syllable. ER, it's going to say er, like you're angry. Here we go. P ers, pers. Okay, let's try and blend the word all together. Remember, the P is only going to say one sound. Here we go. Z ip, 
zippers, 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 which exactly we can see in this picture, zippers. Good job, awesome people. Learning a new clue about syllables we can use to decode extra long words. So what you are going to do right now to keep practicing these decoding skills is you are going to finish page 35. You're going to finish 4 all the way till 12. It's just a little bit more, but you are going to finish page 35 by dividing these words into two syllables so that each part has a vowel and you've divided the word right in between its two consonant neighbors. After you are done decoding all these words by using your syllable knowledge, then you're going to take a video of yourself reading these words. You're going to read all the words on page 35, and of course you need to cover the pictures. You need to cover the pictures so you're really looking at the word to decode it, and you're not using the picture to clue you in. Becoming a better reader is really making sure you can read any word without a picture. So everyone's going to split these words into their proper syllables, decode them, then take a video of themselves reading all of the words without looking at the picture. I'm super excited for us to build our decoding skills knowledge to read bigger and bigger words by understanding how syllables work. Remember, all these syllables have closed in vowels. So you'll always be saying the short sound because all our vowels will be snuggled up with the door shut. Okay, awesome people, let's get going on finishing page 35.